Hi, it's Stella from Evil University, and this is Stella Shot and Sweet for Terra Mara from Quinnet Games. Chieftain, put your clans to work to explore lands, gather resources, trade with other villagers, and train their battle strength. The game plays 2 to 4 players with mechanics such as worker placement, modular boards, and resource management. The game is of medium to heavy complexity. In Terramara, players compete to have the most points by many different options. On their turn, players place their workers on one worker and one player at a time in turn order, getting the action right away. What makes this game unique is that although you can go to many places, if you send your workers to the future more powerful space available for the next rounds, you won't get your workers back until the end of that round, and you flip the space on previous rounds, revealing other worker placement spots. You can also send your worker with one other player's worker already on that space with some military strength requirements, or even send your chieftain to block other players. Players can get their resources, improve military strength, raid, move the culture, which also unlock more options of artifact cards they can craft, moving their caravans to unlock immediate and end of game bonuses, and so on. After 5 rounds, the players with the most points wins. I think the game offers unique worker placement mechanics. When we play with 4 players, at the start, everyone was too scared to send the workers to the future spots but then we kind of ran out of spots we can go. So it seems that the game encourages you to send workers to the future and manage the most beneficial spots to use. Spots are pretty tight, resources are pretty tight too. I like that the artifacts give you options to engine build your actions, so you can focus on certain things and build from there, whether you want to focus on moving your caravans or collecting certain other artifacts and so on. I like the caravan and board meeples but I wish they are just a little bit smaller or the space of the board is a little bit bigger. Fitting four meeples there is pretty tricky. In particular, the divider for the culture river space isn't too clear for us, but the artwork we like, really like the style of it. I can see us playing this game again and again, trying different artifact strategies. It is a pretty solid Euro game. So thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Nipple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time!